Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to predict patterns formed from numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. First, we need to familiarize ourselves with the Fibonacci sequence. This is just a sequence of numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. At first, it's hard to see what the pattern in the numbers would be, but it turns out that starting at the third term or position in the sequence, each term is the sum of the previous two positions. One plus one is two, one plus two is three, two plus three is five, and so on. We represent the terms in the Fibonacci sequence with the symbol F sub n, where n represents the nth position in the sequence. So for example, the first term in the sequence we call f sub 1, which is 1. The second term is f sub 2, which is also 1. The third term, f sub 3 is 2, f sub 4 is 3, f sub 5 is 5, f sub 6 is 8, and so on. Starting with the third term, f sub 3, each term is a sum of the previous two terms. So f sub 3 is f sub 1 plus f sub 2, f sub 4 is f sub 2 plus f sub 3, and and in general, f sub n is going to be the sum of the previous two terms as well. We can represent that with f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1. This is a formula of sorts. It's actually called a recursive formula because if I asked you to find the hundredth term, for example, in the Fibonacci sequence, you can't just do a calculation on 100 and come up with the hundredth term in the sequence. Instead, you have to go through the process of finding the 98 8th and 99th terms in order to calculate the 100th term. Now we reach the goal of this video, which is to predict patterns involving terms of the Fibonacci sequence. For example, the following pattern of equations is based on terms from the Fibonacci sequence. Use inductive reasoning to make a conjecture concerning the next equation in the pattern. So the equations are 2 squared minus 1 squared equals 3, 3 squared minus 1 squared equals 8, 5 squared minus 2 squared equals 21 and 8 squared minus 3 squared equals 55 and I don't know about you but when I first look at this the pattern isn't immediately obvious but we've been given a clue that each of the numbers is actually a number from the Fibonacci sequence so when you're working a problem like this at home you want to start jotting down the Fibonacci sequence in particular in this case the smallest number in the equations is 1 and the biggest number I see is 55. So we're going to want to jot down all of the terms in the Fibonacci sequence up to 55. We can do this by remembering that the first two terms are 1 and 1 and using those to find the next. For example, 1 plus 1 gives you 2, and 1 plus 2 gives you 3, and so on, until you find that the 10th term in the sequence is 55. Now the reason this is helpful is we can now replace each of the numbers in the equations with their symbol from the Fibonacci sequence. So I'm going to take this list of equations and rewrite it, replacing each number with its symbol, like 2 is actually f sub 3. And the reason this is helpful is because then we can see the pattern more clearly. For example, these first terms in the equation, f3 squared, f4 squared, f5 squared, f6 squared, they go in order, one term after the other. So it makes sense that in the next equation, probably, the first term is f sub 7 squared. And looking at the second term in each equation, we start with f sub 1 squared, then f sub 2 squared, f sub 3 squared, f sub 4 squared. So it makes sense that probably in the next equation we would subtract f sub 5 squared. And then on the right we have f sub 4, f sub 6, f sub 8, and f sub 10. We seem to be skipping every other term in the Fibonacci sequence, so it makes sense that in the next Next equation in the pattern we would have equals f sub 12 and now we can just replace each symbol f sub 7 f sub 5 and f sub 12 with the actual value of the term of the sequence f sub 5 and f sub 7 we have on the left we know we're gonna have 13 squared minus 5 squared but we don't know f sub 12 yet but that's okay, we know how to find it. To find f sub 12, we just have to add f sub 10 plus f sub 11. Unfortunately, we don't have f sub 11 yet, so we're gonna have to find that 11th term before we can find the 12th term, again, because this is a recursive formula. So f sub 11 would be f sub 9 plus f sub 10, which is 34 plus 55 plus 
So that's gonna give us 89 for F sub 11. Now F sub 12 is gonna be F sub 10 plus F sub 11. The previous two terms summed is 55 plus 89, which is 144. So now we have the 12th term, and that's the one we need to predict our equation. So we have F sub seven squared becomes 13 squared. F sub five squared is five squared. And now F sub 12 is 144. That should be the next equation in the pattern, but let's just confirm that it's actually a true statement. 13 squared is 169 minus five squared, which is 25, does equal 144. So we have our answer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.